pay there. So let me quickly show you how you can get the advanced voice for GPT. Unfortunately, it's only being tested at the moment in the United States. So unless you're in the States, you're not going to be able to access it. And you're also going to need a subscription. But there is a free monthly preview of advanced voice. But again, it's only available in the States. There's a standard version that's available outside the States, but it doesn't really use the capabilities and logic of GPT 4.0. It's much more basic. So if you want to get access to the advanced voice, I've been able to access it using a VPN. Now, you don't need to get a premium subscription or a plus subscription with GPT for this, and it's available for everybody. And the way this works, first of all, on PC, you will need a premium subscription with GPT. So you're going to have to obviously download the GPT application from the website. And once it's downloaded, you can log in and make sure you have your subscription running and everything and you'll be good to go from there. But if you want to get access to it for free, what you want to do is use a VPN. Now, of course, a VPN will cost you, but it's not going to cost as much as $20 a month, which is the GPT fee. So Typically, VPNs will cost about a cup of coffee a month, something like that. I like to use ExpressVPN specifically, so that's what I'll be using to demonstrate. Simply head on over to your Play Store, look up OpenAI's ChatGPT, and make sure that it's the official version of GPT and not some third party. So make sure that the source is actually OpenAI. Once it's downloaded, you also want to download a VPN. For example, again, I'm using Express. You can check out the links below if you want to follow along, and I'll be sure to also include a discount if you end up picking it up. And once you've got your VPN up and running, basically, you want to connect to an American server. So in this case, connecting to an American location will make it look like you're coming from the States. And from there, once you're connected to the VPN, you can just go ahead and log into your ChatGPT account, and you will notice that it's actually available. Now, once it's activated, you can start talking and ChatGPT will respond fairly quickly. You can even customize the voice and ask it to speak faster or use different accents. And this is also supposed to react with emotion as well as react to your emotion and understand your emotions. So it's a pretty interesting, not to mention potentially incredibly useful feature. And again, if you want to try it out, unfortunately, it's not available anywhere else except for the states and so that's why i'm simulating as if i'm in the states with the vpn and that's basically it now as far as which vpn to go for you can go for express there's also other options like nord and surfshark and i'll include links to those in the description as well if you end up wanting to check those out and i'll also make sure to find the best discounts that i can get in case you want to pick any of those up and I'll also leave reviews if you want to learn more about them. But essentially, a VPN is not just to access a restricted feature within GPT. It's also very useful when it comes to accessing, let's say, streaming services that are not available to you or specific libraries of streaming services like a different Netflix library. You know, oftentimes uh, people may not find a show. I'm sure maybe, you know, there's a show that's available in Netflix, like Friends, the sitcom, and you try to look it up on Netflix only to find that it's not available. It's definitely available, just not in your library. And so as an example, in this case, I would switch to the UK library to find Friends on there because it's not available in the States, ironically enough. So that's just one of the most common uses for a VPN. And that's obviously besides the security benefits that you're getting with it. More information in the reviews below. I don't want to make this video too long. That's essentially how you can get access to ChatGPT. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.